How's it going everybody? To get this video started off right, I just wanted to point out one of the crazy things here in Major League Baseball is Jesus Camargo was arrested on drug charges. He had supposedly 21 pounds of methamphetamine and oxycodone in his duffel bag that was the team duffel bag. So he was in high A and that it's interesting to see a Major League Baseball player, someone who's in the system, who has this much, <laughs> it, it, this is crazy. I don't know what, what to think of this. What do you all think of this? I think this is just, just on the lowest level of morality for a human being to be distributing or even just having that kind of stuff on their body. Regardless, what do you think in the comment section below? Does this... Does this mean this guy's never going to play baseball again? Is this person going into drug sales or distribution because he wasn't getting paid a livable salary in the minor leagues? What do you all think in the comments section below? I'd like to know, this is kind of an interesting topic, but the reason I started this channel is for things like this, where we look at major stories. I think this is a big story and something that we need to look at uh, on a deeper level. So comment section below, let me know what you think. And without further ado, let's get the video started. Welcome back to the Daily Baseball Report. Coach Matt coming at you with another video. We have a new background. So I've finally moved into my studio and I'm super excited. It, it obviously going to be a little bit of changes here and there as we grow. But that being said, we're get, we have a lot of baseball to cover. There were Let's see, I think there was 14 games yesterday, so let's get into it. To start things off, we're going to go into the Tampa Bay Rays versus the Boston Red Sox. And Jaron Duran went 4 for 5 with 2 runs scored and 3 RBIs. What an incredible day this guy had today. He is currently hitting 407 with an on-base percentage of 1.263. Just a really great day for this guy. Michael Chavis went 2 for 2 with 2 runs and an RBI. He did hit a home run. This guy seems to be breaking out of that shell from that big slump he had all of last year. So it would be good to see this guy come out swinging hard for this upcoming season. Nathan Evaldi pitched for the Red Sox today. He pitched four innings. He gave up five hits, five runs. They were all earned. He had one walk and five strikeouts, and his ERA is over 10. Rich Hill pitched for the Tampa Bay Rays. He pitched 2.2 innings. He gave up five hits, three runs, one walk, three strikeouts, and his ERA is over eight. Yadiel Diaz had a home run, and he had two hits in his game today with the uh, Rays. He scored one run and had two RBIs, raising his average to 263 for the spring. Moving over to the Toronto Blue Jays and the Detroit Tigers, Robbie Ray pitched 5.1 innings, gave up four hits, one run. That run was an earned run. He had one walk, seven strikeouts, and his ERA is currently 1.98. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. went 3 for 3, raising his spring average to 600 and his OPS to 1.617. Casey Mize pitched for the Detroit Tigers. He pitched 3.2 innings, gave up 8 hits. He had 5 runs. All of them were earned. He had 1 walk and 5 strikeouts. His ERA is currently 9.9. .9 feel bad for this guy because every year they say he's going to he's going to break out he's going to break out and I just feel like I don't see it I do not see it happening I really hope he does you know but at this point <laughs> he's throwing balloons up to these guys and Jacoby Jones went 2 for 3 with a run and an RBI he hit a home run for the Detroit Tigers and he led their offense Moving over to the St. Louis Cardinals versus the New York Mets Taiwan Walker made a start for the Mets he pitched 4 innings Gave up one hit, no runs. He had one walk and three strikeouts. His ERA so far this spring is currently at three. And Francisco Lindor hit a grand slam. This thing was a bomb. He is definitely out to get paid. What do you guys think? In the comment section below, what do you think he's going to get paid? Based off of the Fernando Tatis deal, do you think he's going to get something in the neighborhood of uh, $300 million, $350 million? 400 million. What do you think his next contract is going to be worth? Max Moroff hit the home run for the St. Louis Cardinals and he went one for two, obviously, with that home run. Tyler O'Neill and Nolan Arenado both went over in the game today. You know, 
I've always been that guy that was not really on the Nolan Arenado offense. I feel like he's always been like an average hitter in my opinion, but you know, his defense speaks for itself, but his offense, it's hard, it's hard to get behind this guy in his offense. He's currently hitting 250 this spring, so you know, I might stand corrected in that he is not that good of a hitter. So we're moving over to the Chicago Cubs versus the Oakland Athletics. Zach Davies pitched four innings. He gave up four hits and one hit. He had two strikeouts. His ERA is currently zero. Frankie Montas pitched for the Oakland Athletics. He pitched three innings, gave up four hits, two runs. Both of them were earned. He had one walk and four strikeouts. And his ERA is currently three. Ian Happ went one for two with two runs and three RBIs. Anthony Rizzo went three for three with two RBIs, raising his average to 400. Wilson Contreras went one for three with a home run, and Jason Hayward had two hits, all to lead the Chicago Cubs in their offense. Chad Pinder had two hits to lead the Oakland Athletics. Moving over to the Texas Rangers and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Julio Urias pitched for the LA Dodgers. He pitched four innings, gave up two hits. He had three strikeouts, and his ERA is currently 1.74. Max Muncy went three for three with two runs and one RBI. Chris Taylor went three for three with one run scored and two RBIs. And Edwin Rios went two for two with a run and two RBIs. Now look at Edwin Rios' swing. It's just gorgeous. Has a good flow, good smooth swing, great follow through. And he's a guy who might not even make the opening day roster. That's how deep that this Dodgers system, farm system is, and how good their team is. Moving over to the Cleveland Indians and the Colorado Rockies. John Gray pitched for the Rockies. He pitched five innings, had five hits, gave up three runs. They were all earned. He had six strikeouts and his ERA is currently 4.70. Aaron Savali pitched for the Cleveland Indians. He pitched four innings, had four hits, gave up four runs, only three of them were earned, had one walk, three strikeouts, and his ERA is currently 3.60. Roberto Perez went two for two with two runs and an RBI. He did hit a home run, and Fran Mil Reyes also had a home run for the Cleveland Indians leading their offense. Sam Hilliard and Dom Nunez led the Rockies as they both had a home run apiece. Moving on to the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Milwaukee Brewers, Tim Locastro went two for three with a run scored, raising his spring average to 417, and Christian Walker had a home run. Christian Yelich went two for two, and he's starting to look like 2018 Christian Yelich as he's recovered from that knee surgery he had at the end of 2019. Billy McKinney had two home runs today, and it seems that this guy's caught fire. He has four home runs on the spring and three in the last two games. Colton Wong also hit a home run for the Milwaukee Brewers. Victor Robles went two for four with two runs scored and an RBI. He did hit a home run. His batting average is 313. Josh Bell went two for three with two runs and three RBIs. He also hit a home run. Yadiel Hernandez went two for four with two runs and a run scored. And they were the guys who all led the Nationals offense in their game. J Jeff Brantley and Alex Bregman went back to back for the Houston Astros. Brantley went two for four with two runs and two RBIs. Bregman went two for three with two runs and one RBI. And Carlos Correa went two for three with two runs and an RBI. Moving over to the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Baltimore Orioles, you all have not seen Cabrian Hayes play baseball. You have got to watch this guy at some point. He is electric. He is a five-tool guy. He is all over the place, hitting balls all over the place, stealing bases, and playing a solid third base. If we didn't have Justin Turner and Edwin Rios and Zach McKinstry, I would highly want the Dodgers to trade for Cabrian Hayes. This guy is going to be a stud. He has a very high ceiling, and it's awesome to kind of see this guy play uh, for Pittsburgh. It would be cool to see Pittsburgh kind of go back to their heyday and actually be competitive. So I sadly believe that they're one of the worst teams in the National League, if not the worst team. No, the Rockies. The Rockies are by far the worst team. The Pirates definitely have the second worst team in the National League, and it would, I really, really like them to be good again. It would be, they have such a beautiful park, it would be great to have the Pirates be good again and build around Cabrian Hayes. Anyways, speaking of, he went two for four with two runs and an RBI, and his spring average is 4.33. Todd Frazier hit a home run for the Pittsburgh Pirates, and going over to the Baltimore Orioles side, Trey Mancini hit a home run, as well as Ryan Mountcastle. Moving over to the Minnesota Twins and the Atlanta Braves, Ian Anderson pitched for the Atlanta Braves. He pitched 4.1 innings, gave up four hits, two runs. They were both earned. He had one walk and nine strikeouts. 
and his ERA is 4.66. Randy Dobnak pitched 3.1 innings, gave up one hit, one run. The run was not earned. He had five strikeouts, and his ERA is currently zero. The Philadelphia Phillies and the New York Yankees duked it out yet again. I feel like they play every game. And Devi Garcia of the New York Yankees pitched, and even though he didn't give up any runs, I feel like he was a little bit wild. He pitched three, three innings, gave up four walks, had two strikeouts, and his ERA is 1.64. Remember, he is in a pretty big dogfight with Domingo Herman to see who's going to get that fifth starter position for the Yankees. Ivan Nova pitched for the Philadelphia Phillies. He pitched three innings, gave up one hit, one run. That run was earned. He had three walks and one strikeout, dropping his ERA to 7.36. Moving on over to the Chicago White Sox playing the Seattle Mariners. Lance Lynn pitched for the White Sox. He pitched 3.2 innings. He gave up six hits, three runs. They were all earned, one walk and six strikeouts. His ERA is now 2.3. Adam Engel has caught fire. He went two for five with a home run and a triple. He has caught fire. He did hit score a run and have three RBIs on the day. He has four home runs in the last in, in his spring and three in the last two games. Nick Madrigal went three for three, raising his spring average to 364. And Yerman Mercedes went two for three with a run scored to lead the Chicago White Sox offense. Kyle Seeger had two hits for the Seattle Mariners, as did Kyle Lewis, who hit a home run. This guy's a lot of fun to watch. I think he's just a little bit ahead of Cabrian Hayes in terms of just sheer athleticism. Regardless, this guy is just a stud. And I really like this guy he's all the way back from last year when he was like, robbing home runs out in center field for the Seattle Mariners. This guy's awesome. And since they've gotten rid of their GM, I think that they're going to build around this guy. So we would love to see the Seattle Mariners back in the competitive space yet again. And Jared Kelenic has returned from the injured list and he did get two hits and scored a run in his return from, from the injury. And last but not least, the Cincinnati Reds versus the San Francisco Giants. Nick Senzel had two hits as well as Jesse Winker to lead the Cincinnati Red offense and Darren Ruff had two hits for the San Francisco Giants and that was about all that really happened in that game so without further ado that will be the end of the video for today as this is the second time I've had to record this final part of the video as I'm having issues with the camera regardless I'll get that figured out on my end so please hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything and please smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and without further ado we will see you all tomorrow